is XIO Cloud. XIO Cloud started out, we've, we've had it since about 2017, I think, uh, started out as a device management platform, right? So it allows me to uh, very quickly look at my organization and see all the devices. Not only can I see the devices, I can also enforce settings. So I can go and say, all my Mercury's underneath the ISC 2025 folder, I want to set into, I'm going to say Norwegian. That's because he's from Norway. So. Don't worry. Hi. <laughs> so now, if I hit save changes, all the Mercury's in the booth are going to switch to, to Norwegian. Right? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But if, if I hit save now, so why is this important? Well, imagine you have a time server or you have a setting that you want all your devices to have. You set it up once on your folder, you add devices, and the minute that device gets added, all the settings that I am enforcing are gonna get pushed down to that device. So that means that if you receive it in your warehouse, you add it to Excel Cloud, before you even install it. Then when you install it, it connects to the internet and all the settings are downloaded. That means your project, your program, all your settings are there. So it's a lot quicker to get your devices online. Okay? I'm gonna undo that. Second, XIO Cloud is uh, offering you kind of analytics on how, it, how are my systems used. So I'm just gonna do my little standard Last week, I can now see that my top rooms are these rooms in the booth. Those are the busiest usage last week when we were setting up, and here are the ones that are used the least. Why is this important? Let's say that you have a room that is used 100% of the time. You probably want to build more rooms like that, right? You don't want to build rooms that nobody uses. So I would, if I was running this organization, I would reach out to the people who are booking or not booking these these meeting rooms and go like why aren't you booking these and they come back and like oh I don't like the technology in the room I don't like whatever so now I can change that so that is how we started we have added what we call the program connector so because AV is more than just a collection of devices it's really a holistic system so our control systems right we've been doing that for 50 years our four series control systems can tell us way more about the system than each individual device so let's say that every morning at nine o'clock I want to turn my rooms on, I can schedule that. So, right, there's a little clock next to it that means I can set this up to happen at a specific time. I'm just gonna push the button. If you look at the touch panel, you'll see that when I push this button, a couple of seconds later, my room comes on. Now my room is on, great. I can see it there in a minute when the real feedback comes back. Okay, so now you know that the room is on. My display is still off. If I put the Apple TV in the, on the display, you'll see that the display power is going to turn on and it will show Apple TV. That Apple TV usage in the future is going to give you a report. What devices in my room are being used so that you know if you've invested into the right technology. Just a question. So this room control type, it ties into the room program on the actual restaurant processor, yes. right? Yes. So that's where it pulls from. So it pulls from the RMC4 or the CP4, or, or, and then it will get feedback into the cloud. Yep. So it kind of sits in between. Yes, absolutely. So now, this is great, right? I'm pushing buttons and I see it in the cloud. whoop de doo big deal. What if something bad happens? So I have like a little sensor here, I disconnect. What you're going to see in a little bit is <coughs> you'll see that the room health is going to turn red. Just give me a second. The internet is really slow today. There you go. My room went red. That means something wrong. Something is wrong. What is wrong? Well, I can look at my alerts and I can see and it says the remote was removed from the room. Now this alert can send you an email or a text message. It can also open a ticket in ServiceNow. So now you can get a real IT ticket that says, there's a problem in the Mondrian room, the remote was removed. Now let's say I'm a good user and I realized I took the remote, I put it back in the room. In a couple of seconds, that red alert is gonna go away, it goes green, my alert is cleared, and also I have now closed the ServiceNow ticket. So if I go to the alerts, you'll see it is resolved. That will close the ServiceNow ticket 
problem resolved, you don't have to send anyone, right? So this is our room control integrated into Excel Cloud. So uh, a big uh, news this year and actually happened uh, yesterday, I think. Yeah. Uh, so we changed the licensing around. So now it's kind of to make it very easy for the customers. There's two tiers. There's either a pro version or there's a free version. So what happens then is you can start out with free, then you will get the limited uh, amount of services, but you will get going and you can have the device list and you can actually pull settings yeah. into from the free version. And that's quite powerful to do that to all devices, right? Yep. And then you have the premium services which will give you more yeah. features. Let, let me repeat that real quick because I have yeah. the microphone for that camera. So we have a free tier, XIO Cloud, and we have a premium tier, XIO Cloud Premium. The free tier is everything you can do with a device locally. So you can set, make settings, upload firmware, upload programs. You can even get alerts. You cannot open tickets in service now. For that, you need the premium tier. The premium tier gets you this program integration. It gets you third-party devices. It gets you remote control of touch screens. And it gets you API access, as well as the analytics that I showed you before. Yeah, these dashboards come into the premium tier. Now, We've changed our licensing completely, right? It used to be room-based, now it's device-based, but we are going on a site license. Either the entire site is premium or the entire site is uh, free, but you can just keep adding devices. So let's say that you buy Excel Cloud for a year for 300 devices, and in the middle of the year, you roll out 100 more devices, no problem. Excel Cloud is going to keep working. You don't have to worry about getting an extra license in time for the new devices. Keep using it. At the, at the anniversary of your subscription, we will reach out and say, you paid for 300, you used 400, here is the number of licenses you need to buy for the last six months, here is the number of licenses if you have more years left for the rest of your subscription. So you only deal with us once a year to update, to true up, that's what we're calling it, to true up your subscription. So it is so much easier, so much less friction than it is when you had to go, for every room you had to go buy a license. Perfect. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. And this is not